Hello everyone. Welcome to part one of a three-part series on configuring the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform for SAML single sign-on authentication with Microsoft Azure Intra-ID provider. We will integrate Microsoft Azure Intra-ID with the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform. Once completed, your users can access the platform using their corporate SAML-based SSO identity. In step one, the user will enter their credentials for the single sign-on option on the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform URL. This will trigger a redirect request to the Microsoft Azure Intra-ID URL for step two, wherein you will need to provide your domain credentials to log into the SAML identity provider. In step three, once the domain user credentials are authenticated by Microsoft Intra-ID Identity and Access Management, a success response is sent back to HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform. At this stage, you've completed logging into the platform with your SSO provided credentials. Now that we logged into the Azure portal, portal.azure.com, we can verify and manage Microsoft Intra-ID subscriptions by clicking the View button. Once you are on the overview page, you will see Intra-ID name. For this demo, it is HB ASEC Geneva. To create your application, select the Add button, then choose Application Enterprise. This will open the Browse Microsoft Intra Gallery. Then select the Create Your Own Application button at the top left corner. Type in the fully qualified domain name, homewarriorservice.com by selecting the third option to integrate any other applications. Once completed, you're on homewarriorservices.com overview enterprise application console. Make sure that the application ID and object IDs for homewarriorservices.com domain name has been defined. To configure HP GreenLake platform authentication, let's navigate to set up a single sign-on get started. It's a three-step process. The first step is creating basic identifier URLs. The second step defines attributes and claim conditions. Third step, once the Federation metadata XML configuration is exported. Let's start step one. You're on the basic SAML configuration. You notice that the predefined identifiers and reply URLs have been defined. Leave the optional field blank. Let's start step two. You're on the attributes and claims tab. To configure SAML SSO, you need to define the claim names, the unique user identifier name, type, GreenLake first, last names, and HPE CCS attributes values. Pay attention to the values and syntax that have been defined that are unique to HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform SSO access. HP GreenLake Platform Workspace User Access with roles and responsibilities are configured using HPE CCS attribute claim definition. Managed claim conditions are defined with user type, scoped group, source, and value. The user might be a guest, external, or part of an active directory group. In this example, type is any. Scoped groups are predefined with three different security roles. First, admin home warrior group, second, observer home warriors, and third, operator home warriors group. The admin home warriors group is defined with the HP GreenLake platform workspace administrator role. The second observer home warriors group will have an observer role and the third operator home warriors with operator. For source, choose the attribute value that is mapped with the HP GreenLake platform workspace HPE CCS attribute. The value string will define HP GreenLake platform workspace ID, role name administrator, scope privileges, all, and then service Aruba central ID followed by the administrator role name with all scope privileges. For second observer home warriors, the observer home warriors group is defined with the HP GreenLake platform workspace observer role. The value string will define HP GreenLake platform workspace ID, role name observer, scope privileges all, and then service Aruba central ID followed by the view only role name with all scope privileges. For third operator home warriors, the operator home warriors group is defined with the HP GreenLake platform workspace operator role. The value string will define HP GreenLake platform workspace ID, role name operator, scope privileges all, and then the service Aruba central ID followed by the operator role name with all scope privileges. Pay attention to string values which are unique to HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform SSO access. To find HP GreenLake platform workspace and service IDs, let's quickly check by logging into the HP GreenLake platform. You're on Manage Workspace. On the left, under the Home Warrior Service workspace name, find Workspace ID. 
To find the Aruba Central service ID, navigate to Services tab under Service Catalog and find Aruba Central. Under Details, find Service ID. After finding the HP GreenLake Platform Workspace and Aruba Central service IDs, let's switch back to the Microsoft Azure Entra ID console. Final step three is downloading the XML metadata file. After configuring the SAML-based sign-on, basic SAML configuration, and the HP CCS attribute claims to condition, the third option is to download the SAML certificates. Select Download Federation Metadata XML file, which contains the basic SAML configuration, the identity ID, the reply URL, all the attributes, the HP CCS attributes claim conditions, and certificates. Save under your local directory or shared directory, which is required to configure the HP GreenLake platform with single sign-on authentication. Mm -hmm.